Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can measure distances in Google Earth. This is an update to a video on the same topic that I made last year. And since the last video was published, there's been some new additions to the measurement tools in Google Earth. So let's just go into Google Earth like I am now. And you can see I'm kind of centered on North Dakota at the moment. It doesn't matter where I'm centered on, but for the demo, I'm centered on North Dakota. On the left hand side here, I'm going to click on this ruler icon. And now I can choose the units in which I want to do my measurements. So you can see here I can choose from centimeters, meters, kilometers, nautical miles, inches, feet, yards, miles, or even smoots. If you're not sure what a smoot is, Google it. It's kind of an interesting story. So let's say I want to measure in miles from Bismarck to Fargo. All I have to do is click once on Bismarck, click over here now to Fargo, click again, and we have the distance. Now, let's say I want to change that to centimeters. It'll tell me in centimeters how far I've gone, or in feet, or in smoots. And we can go back to the automatic, and in this case, it wants to choose kilometers. Let's go back into miles. Now, if I want to save this, just click on that little copy button, and I can save that measurement in a note on my computer, whether that's a sticky note or a Google Doc or a Word Doc, save it wherever I want. If I want to measure something else, well, just start over, and maybe this time we'll measure something like from, oh, I don't know where, Lethbridge to Medicine Hat, and we'll do that one in kilometers. And click once on Lethbridge, and click again on Medicine Hat, and there's my distance in kilometers or meters. So that's how you can measure distances in Google Earth. Check it out at earth.google.com. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.